the scourge of the contemporary evangelical church. It is the issue of pornography. Not many people talk about it, but we will because too many men are deluding themselves into thinking, it's okay, I've got this under control. Men who crave pornography love to use excuses. Why? Because that's the modus operandi of the devil. You see, he's the liar and the father of lies, and that's how he gets you to sin. Come on, nobody's looking. It's not a big deal. You can get away with this. It's not affecting your wife and children. It's a siren song and you listen to it and then you feel like Charlie Brown after Lucy pulls away the football. Oh, why did I do that again? Why are you always, and I mean always, disgusted with yourself? So disappointed, it's because you believed the lie. Stop listening to the lies. Quit using excuses. Like, it's my wife's fault. Recently, LifeSite News, writing a very helpful article, completely dismantling the lie that says, well, it's my wife's fault. If she didn't do this, if she acted like that, if she looked like this, dressed like that, behaved like those women, and that, then, I wouldn't be tempted to look at pornography. Uh, guess what? That too is a lie. Uh, let's take a look at them, uh, shall we? From LifeSite News, your wife's so-called frigidity is not the catalyst for your habit. In fact, it might be the other way around. Hey, she's so cold, I have to watch pornography. Really? Maybe she's so cold because you do watch pornography. Uh, here's another lie that you have purchased, sir. She doesn't know. She's not aware of what I I've got it on my cell phone. This is no big deal. I got this under control. It's just between me and myself. Eh, wrong. She knows. She knows what you're doing. It shows up on your face. It shows up with your distance. It shows up with your attitude in the bedroom. Maybe you've been using the excuse that she's cold, so I have to, when the reality is she's cold because you do. Here's what LifeSite News said. When was the last time you really fostered an environment of romance in the home that would make your wife feel treasured and not just like a warm body? Pardon me for even utilizing this expression, but I think it captures an awful lot, even though I, I, I grant you, it, it, it borders on being a little bit coarse, but in society today, we will hear men say, hey, did you get lucky? That is not the attitude of the Christian man. A Christian man never scores. A Christian man never gets lucky. A Christian man earns affection. A Christian man strives to be the godly man that causes his wife to be giving of herself without any reservations. Sir, if you're watching pornography and you're using the frigidity excuse, what are you doing to thought? What, what are you doing to warm up the relationship? Don't be pointing a finger at her. Take a look at yourself first.